Now, is it just me, or do you notice that, you know, the content we're fed as we get older changes? You know, we go back to maybe, say, for example, maybe preschool kids. You know, when you sit down with the kids and you're watching the programs that's made for them, it's always kind of use your imagination. You know, let's travel into space, or let's imagine you're a princess, or let's imagine you're doing something wonderful. And then as you get older, then the content changes. And you notice that, that when we get to an adult age, you know, the content we're fed on TV, it's all like soap operas where people are living miserable lives, or people who hate their job, or people who are just in the situation that most people are. And we're kind of fed that content on TV that, you know, everybody's in the same situation. I'm kind of thinking like, you know, the transition from when we were small to when we are now as adults, like, you know, when we were small, like we were told to go for your dreams, you know, have big dreams, have big ambitions. And then slowly over time, it just tapers away into older age where you're just kind of told, well, the greatest excitement you're going to have right now is to drive a car on a street where there's no other cars. Or your greatest excitement is to buy a chocolate bar that you're almost going to have this orgasm when you're having this chocolate bar or you're just sucking on this ice pop, everything is going to be perfect. And that crap we are just fed with the media right now, it just kind of, you know, it kind of boggles my mind that how we have kind of, you know, started off with someone who had loads of ambition, who could be an astronaut, who could be that. And then the TV shows, as we're fed over time, just kind of scales it down and down and down and just says you're going to be another clone in this kind of big kind of a cog in the big machine we have right now. And, you know, it's really, it's not surprising people actually give up on their dreams or kind of get beaten down when there is no examples of, you know, inspiration around us, that people our age aren't actually kind of saying, you know what, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Because a lot of us are just like those crabs, you know, in that pot of boiling water, where when we try to do something, our friends or our family kind of hold on to us, drag us down and say, no, you can't do it. You know, think of the kids, you know, don't take that big a risk. You know, what if you give up that job and it doesn't work? Or what if you spend all that time writing that book and it, it doesn't work out for you? And don't be so stupid doing those TikTok videos. You know, who do you think you are at your age creating content like that? And like, it's really sad, you know, that we just kind of start off with this great ambition when we were a child and it just tapers away down into nothing. And we're just told to fit in with the group, be like everyone else. And you're looking around at everyone else and everyone else is miserable. Everyone else has dreams, ambitions and goals that they have like, locked away that they'll never go back to. And they're just kind of leading this humdrum life. I think it's really sad. And you know, that's why I'm creating a lot of content like that, is to awaken you up and give you a good kick in the arse and let you know that there is some greater talent, is great talent and abilities in you, and you should be using it. And stop listening to the media and stop listening to your friends. If you want to write a book, go ahead, write a book. If you want to do TikTok videos, create the bloody content, create the videos. You don't care what anyone else is thinking, because you're too good to waste. And that's why I'm creating a lot of this content is to remind you, but also to remind me that, you know, life is about more than just a car on an empty street or a chocolate bar, that there are some great things that you can do if you do them. So stop getting browbeaten with all the crap that's out there. There's a lot of great stuff in you. 